Have you ever wondered why some prints come out perfect while others using this exact same filament end up a complete mess? Well, it is not just about your printer. It is about using the right filament settings. In this video, I'm going to show you how to unlock perfect prints using Polymaker Polytera PLA and other Polymaker filaments in Creality Print. Stick around, because there is one game-changing trick at the end that will transform your 3D printing results forever. So let's dive right in. Hey, Zach here. Welcome back to this channel. Today, we will dive into something pretty cool. If you have ever struggled to dial in the perfect settings for new filaments, or you're curious about how to take your Creality Prints to the next level, you are in the right place. We are going to walk through how to add and optimize Polymaker Polytera PLA and other Polymaker PLA filaments to Creality Print Slicer. You may have heard a lot of buzz about Polymaker filaments. They have become known for the eco-friendly materials and amazing finish. But how do you get them running perfectly in Creality Print. We will cover it all in this video, so make sure to stick around until the end. I promise there is one setting tweak that you won't want to miss. But before we dive into this step-by-step process, what makes Polymaker filaments stand out? And why is it so important to fine-tune your slicer settings for different filaments? Trust me, the right setup can make or break your 3D printing projects. So, whether you're, you are using Polymaker PLA, Polymax PLA, or any other Polymaker filaments, this video will show you how to dial in the best results. And in the end, we will receive a key trick that could save you loads of time and filament waste, because nobody wants to waste any precious filaments. All right, let's jump straight into it. First things first, if you haven't already, you want to download the latest version of Creality Print, 5.1 in this case. It is free and available on Creality's official website. Just head to the download section, select the correct version for your operating system, and you are good to go. Now that we have got Creality Print installed, let's set it up for Polymaker, Polytera PLA, and other PLA filaments. This step is super important to make sure your prints come out clean and precise. So here's where the magic happens. Adding a new filament profile in Creality Print isn't that complicated. But the key is getting the settings just right. So how do we set up Polymaker Polytera PLA specifically? Well, here we are going to the filament settings menu. You can find it on your right hand side, just under the button where it says which kind of filament is right there selected. From here, we start customizing the settings. One of the key things with Polytera PLA is that it is designed to be easy to print at lower temperatures than some other PLAs. In this case, I'm using the Creality K1. And because it is a fast printer, these settings can be a little bit different than you normally would expect. So the starting point of the nozzle is going to be around the 220 degrees for the nozzle. For the bed, we can use 50 or 60 degrees Celsius, which can be quite fine. And then we are going to check the retraction settings. Just check which kind of settings there are for the specific PLA filament that you just have selected. For example, the distance 5 mm, the speed 45 mm per second, and the fan speed 100%. After a few layers. These are the suggested settings from Polymaker for their Polytera PLA but we will be tweaking a few more advanced options soon, so stick around. This is where we can fine-tune the performance to really match your printer's capabilities. So we have entered our initial settings, but we are not done yet. Even with the manufacturer's recommendations, every printer behaves a little differently. That is where calibration prints comes in. I always recommend starting with a simple calibration cube or a Benji to see how the filament performs with your specific setup. This can reveal small issues like stringing, under extrusion or temperature inconsistencies. After your test prints, you'll want to make sure to make micro adjustments 
pay attention to things like stringing and layer adhesion. If you are seeing stringing, adjust the retraction settings slightly. For adhesion issues, experiment with bad temperatures or first layer speed. All right, now here's the part I promised earlier. One critical thing that can be a game changer for polymaker filaments, and that is the flow rate adjustment. Many people overlook this, but adjusting the flow rate, also called extrusion multiplier, can help you fine tune how much filament is extruded. Sometimes you need to increase or decrease this slightly to get the perfect amount of material laid down. In Creality Print, the multiplier is 0.95. We can adjust this to 98% or 0.98. For Polymaker PLA, you might find a flow rate of 98% works the best, especially if you notice over extrusion or messy layers. Just to be sure to make small adjustments and test each change. It is all about dialing it in. But what about other Polymaker PLA filaments like Poly Light PLA? Add them follows the same process, but the settings may vary slightly depending on the filament type. For Polylight PLA, which is designed to be a very nice silk PLA, you want to increase the nozzle temperature slightly. Just go for something around the 210 and 230 degrees. I stick to my 220 degrees. Should do the trick. And depending on your print speed, you may need to adjust the cooling settings as well. Once again, run a few tests and make sure everything is dialed in. You will be amazed at the difference just a few tweaks can make. So, and there you have it. With a bit of fine tuning, Polymaker Polyterra PLA and other PLA filaments can produce stunning results on your Creality 3D printer. It's all about understanding your materials and making those tiny adjustments that lead to perfect prints. But here is the kicker. The one trick I promise that could save you a ton of time? It is all about keeping a dedicated filament profile for each type of filament. This way, you never have to start from scratch. Once you get it dialed in, save that profile in Creality Print, and the next time you load up your Polyterra PLA, you are ready to go without a second thought. That one extra step of saving your profiles can save you from hours of recalibration down to the line. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that this guide helped you to take your prints to the next level. If you have got any tips or questions, drop them in the comments below. I would love to hear how Polymaker filaments are working for you. And don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, hit the bell so you don't miss any of any future videos. Well, and if you have made it to this far, check out this amazing video right over here. Come, check it out. You're going to love it. More about slices of software. Here, check it out.